Hi, I'm David Baker and I'm a writer from Paris and Edmonds uh, and I focus on mental health issues. Uh, I want to thank Return to Strength for giving me this chance to talk to you today about my journey uh, with depression and anxiety. Um, my depression uh, lasted about 30 years, uh, which is, looking back, was a long time. Um, it started when I was 11 years old with my father's suicide. Uh, back then there was no um, counselling or um, advice for, uh, for young people. Um, so I just had to get on with it. And um, over the next few years, my depression grew into its own little, uh, little life for me, you know, like a, a, a gardener uh, grows flowers. I, I was growing weeds in my mind. Um, you know, everything became too much hassle, too many, too much problems. You know, I became um, uh, drawn in on myself. And, um, you know, over, over many years, um, you know, there was um, various uh, times where uh, it got too much and, uh, you know, I, I tried to take my own life a couple of times. Um, you know, anxiety um, hospitalized me on several occasions, um, twice with a suspected heart attack. Um, and this was all something that I'd grown inside myself. Um, you know, it, you know, I couldn't blame anybody else for it. It was, it was all down to me. Um, it, you know, my depression was unique to me. It was something, you know, that I'd, I'd made, I'd manifested. Um, and everybody who has depression, their depression is unique to them. Um, people can tell you how, you know, oh, I, I know how you feel. No, they don't. Um, you know how you feel, you know, I can tell you through my experiences kind of how I felt, you only understand how you feel, um, but I know uh, what I needed to do was, uh, I didn't want to feel depressed anymore, I didn't want to have anxiety anymore, I didn't want to feel, you know, like my life was, was not worth it, so I decided to change. Um, and that was the key thing, I wanted to do that. Um, so I had to find a plan that was gonna work for me. I mean, over the years, many people had given me good advice, you know, but when you're in that depressed state, you really don't wanna listen. You know, you, you're so wrapped up in yourself that you don't realize that, uh, you know, the answers are the, right there for you. And they're, uh, they're very simple to follow. Um, so what I needed to do was create a foundation for myself to build on so that while I was getting stronger, if I did have a step backwards, I could reset. I had a platform to work from. Um, so what I decided to do was four, four simple things and I did them every day and each day I did these, it made me stronger and stronger. <laughs> and they are fairly simple and the thing is they work though they work for me so if they work for me they can work for you uh, the first thing was I got up earlier uh, I got up two hours earlier than I needed to uh, and the reason being is when you're up that early there is nobody around to to bother you to uh, you know to disturb your time you need that me time um, it's no good if you take that time and use it to play video games or watch the news on TV. That is not going to help you. What you need to do is use that time to build you and build your strength. The second thing is eat a breakfast. I know that, again, sounds very simple. But when you eat something in the morning, that gives you fuel um, to build your, uh, your strength and build your mind. Um, far too often in the past, I was rushing out the door with no food in me, with no fuel, and I was getting to uh, wherever I was going and I was miserable. Taking that time to get up early, eat something, gives you that energy. Now the third thing is watch YouTube videos. Um, I watch YouTube videos every morning on, uh, on strength and, and positivity um, and how to live your life, how to be grateful for your life, how to see the strength, how to see the beauty of what what's going on in the world, how to be, make yourself feel better. Um, you know, 
listening to those videos over and over again will fill you full of strength and can-do attitude. Um, and again, just watch them over. There's, there's so many on there, you know, from people like Mel Robbins, Wayne Dyer, Jim Rohn. They can help you uh, grow as a person. And then the fourth thing you need to do is what I do all the time, because I'm a writer, but you need to write as well. You need to get those feelings that are inside of you out onto a piece of paper. You need to be telling yourself, showing yourself, you know, take what the, the problems are and turn them into positives. You need to be writing down how good your life can actually be. Write down the positives, write down um, I am affirmations, write down things like I am happy, I am blessed, I am focused, I am living, I am alive. Everything that makes you feel good. Stay away from the negative. It will only hurt you. Um, and the thing is, each day is going to be difficult. There are difficult days, but there is good in every day. So if you do have a problem one day and you feel yourself coming back, go back and start again. Reset. Use those four steps and just start again. You know, uh, two steps forward, one step back. As long as you're going forward, you're still growing. <clears throat> and you can make it and you can live a great life. You know, and that is what beating depression is all about. Um, thank you so much, uh, Return to Strength, for giving me this chance to speak to you. If you want to um, see some of my writing, uh, follow me on Instagram at uh, Depression Beaten. And uh, life is good. And, you know, have a great day.